This is Major Tom Wolf and crew on patrol in Kabul, Afghanistan in 2011. This would be his second tour of duty here. The first in 2009 in the much more dangerous Kandahar region, where he was involved in resupplying a forward operating base in Panjwe. An older fellow like myself, typically not, not out there with the young guys uh, battling toe to toe. So I was in the task force headquarters and my job was actually the liaison officer between the Canadian Brigade, the task force, and the next level headquarters, which was RC Cell. So that was to get all of our plans approved, uh, to bring back information from the higher headquarters back to uh, back to our brigade, so that we could, you know, get our plans and get higher level uh, approvals for things like unarmed uh, aerial vehicles and that sort of thing. While that role, for the most part, kept him out of harm's way, danger was never far away. The few times that I was out outside the wire, uh, you know, dangerous like it was for all the rest of the Canadians, and you know, the occasional thing that uh, that blew up on uh, on calf, but not bad. Wolf earned a degree in military history and then joined the army in the late 70s. He would blow out his knee and ended up joining the reserves in Kelowna with the Dragoons. He went on to become a reserve brigade commander in Alberta before retiring from the military for the first time. But a burning desire for a first overseas tour eventually led him to Afghanistan. You play in the in the minor leagues and you want to find out whether you can, you know, hit the curveball in the in the major. You train for war. That's why you join the army. And you know, Afghanistan. I thought I'd be interested in trying to, you know, try some things. You know, make sure that you know I have the skills. And and I thought I had some, uh, you know, some things to offer uh, the forces in order to do a job over there. His first tour of duty in the much more volatile southern region of the country was also a time of significant losses for the Canadian military. During my period of time there, the 10 months that I was there, we actually lost uh, 25 Canadian killed and a large number of wounded. I did far more ramp ceremonies, which is when we're essentially wishing farewell to our comrades and putting them on the plane back to Canada um, than I would ever want to do again. Ever since he was a kid in City Park in Kelowna, Wolf has been thinking about the significance of Remembrance Day. Twice he remembered in Afghanistan, and as you might expect, they were somber occasions. It's a different feeling to be remembering, if you will, the people of my father's generation versus, you know, the, the very sort of visceral feeling of, you know, remembering folks that I've served with, either in Afghanistan or in the Army previously, or the children of people that I, uh, that I know uh, that have been killed over there. I now have more of that feeling um, that I know the World War II and Korean vets, uh, you know, have when, when they're standing at the cenotaph. Now the 59-year-old is forced to retire due to age, but he continues to volunteer with the Military Museum Society and the Dragoons, where roughly 20% of the unit has served in Afghanistan. So when you see somebody with veterans plates driving around town, and it's you know somebody who's under the age of 30, and you go, must be driving dad's car, that's not necessarily so. Uh, we do have this, this new generation of, uh, of young soldiers who have you know, served in war for our country. For We Remember on Shaw, I'm Tim Morton in Kelowna.